are you doing, babe? I'm doing something I've never done before, and that is going on a hike all by myself. But we're here at the Pulpit Rock, and Willis passed it out, and we have a baby. Plus, rain might be in the forecast in a couple hours, and so Tanner and I have decided to split up, and I'm going to go up. So I've nursed Noah, and I'm hoping to be back in just a couple hours. It says it's about five hours round trip, so or five miles round trip, so it'll be fun, hopefully. There are several other people who are still leaving, like we're seeing people come and go, so she's not gonna be the only one there. It is still good weather right now, and she has a good buffer of about five hours before weather starts to get questionable, but she's gonna come back early if it gets too sketchy, right? Yeah, and I'm like an experienced hiker, and I'm like pro, but like, I feel like I know when to turn around, and I trust myself, and I know. Trust the trails, but now you gotta go. Be fun. Yeah, it's really, it's really busy. So, I'm gonna you. go. I made it and I'm pooped but this is incredible <laughs> what is life seriously gotta be careful cuz it's not like it's like a drop-off but it still is high <laughs> but there you can see that's pulpit rock right there I've just sat up climbed up onto a rock a little bit to get a view of it I'm gonna make my way over there but it's pretty crowded we passed I passed, so he's just to talk in plural form. I passed a lot of people coming down, so it's a nice time. I'm sure it's more crowded than this typically. Maybe Tanner will be able to make it up. I hurried. We'll see. Whew, I'm back and switching the pack. Switching off, so. Good luck. Thanks. Uh, well, I made it back now and it hasn't rained the entire time, but we had absolutely great time in. Very few people up there. In fact, at the very end, it was like <laughs> 10 people up there. We did cross the bridge and head over to this valley, which is stunning. And it's really nice because it's very quiet. We have passed one campsite, but other than that, it's like a one lane road and we haven't passed anyone here. We can't even believe what it would be like to live here, but it's just a breathtaking place and like 20 minutes away from Pulpit Rock. So if you're here in this area, we definitely recommend checking this out. We've made it here to our next campsite. This is, what, our fourth or fifth night here in Norway and we're just so blown away. Every turn, every corner, every pass we go over is just like so <laughs> incredible. This is definitely one of our most favorite countries we've ever been to. The views are just like unmatched. Actually in the car today, Tanner and I were talking about our trip to New Zealand, which is also a favorite country of ours. And we went to the fjords there on the South Island. And it's just not that we like to compare countries, but it's just crazy because there's so many fjords here in Norway. And that was definitely a highlight of the New Zealand trip. But here it's just like, again, 
there's so many that it's just like a new corner. Oh, there's another breathtaking fjord. And we are just barely getting into the meat of it all. Honestly, today we've kind of kept it pretty low key. We didn't even leave our campsite until like noon. So that was nice to have a slow morning and just kind of take it in and be with our family. Willa had a lot of fun at the playground and it's just so fun for us to see her interact with kids from all over. Today she played with a Norwegian boy, yesterday it was people from Poland. It's so fun to travel and get to meet new people and especially for Willa to see that kids don't even need to speak the same language. They literally just communicate through play and laughing and smiling and we love to see it. That's one of the reasons why we love watching the world through our little girl's eyes and why we would encourage you guys to travel. Don't stop when you have kids, guys. It can be difficult. Oh man, we are so tired. Well, I actually did go to bed till 11 p.m. last night, but it is worth it. It is so worth it. We are here at like a gravel roadside parking area, and there's a couple other camper vans, not actually in our parking lot, but close by. It's getting chilly, so soon I'll be heading in, but I just had to take a minute to just be out in nature appreciate this view and take a little minute by myself to just take it all in. And you probably already thought this, but this is a free campsite. It's located just along a dam. Another day, except this time we're on the road and it is only 9 a.m. That's a big deal over here. Yeah, it really is. Doing the whole car seat switch, put the table down, the kitchen away, all that stuff, breakfast, takes some time. So today's gonna be a good day. We can feel it. You're right, Willa, we did forget to brush our teeth. We have the bag up by my feet actually, so we can do that soon but I think it's gonna be a good day, yeah? Yeah, definitely. I already took a quick morning dip. No pictures, folks, for this one, but it was uh, very refreshing and very cold. We stayed overnight in the most beautiful area like you guys have probably ever saw, but it was like higher up in the elevation and definitely could tell by the water temperature, freezing. <laughs> This area is so beautiful, and there's a lot of places to pull off to the side and just camp for the night. Obviously, leave no trace, but aside from that, I mean, I can't really picture a better place to stay for a night. This is what we do now, is listen to German nursery rhymes. But look at this view! Instructions. And no, it thinks I'm funny. Do a workout. Now a workout. Go 
another beautiful morning here in Norway and we're on another hike. It is incredibly beautiful. The sun is out. Some overcast clouds may be coming in. It's just been a really picturesque morning. You need to take a break. All right. This morning we woke up from our campsite, kind of left a little bit earlier, came to the parking lot here of this hike and had some breakfast burritos. It was really nice. And now we're on this little hike, um, pretty short one to this lake that you can see the glacier from and it's just everything is so picturesque. We're hoping to take a quick little dip when we get up to the lake. We've just been loving being up here. No swimming allowed. Drinking oh. water protection area, which so makes sense, but. Oh, beautiful though. We are so happy to be at our campsite right now. <laughs> Honestly, like an hour and a half ago, we were like, okay, we're just stopping at the next campsite that's even available because we're feeling a little drained from driving a little bit like every day. And when I say a little bit, it's like between one and three hours. And although it has been nice and it has been really nice to not have to drive long distances, it's still kind of like it adds up. It takes a lot of time and with especially with the kids uh yeah i think that we're all just looking for a little bit more time to relax but we kind of pushed through that and we've made it to this incredibly beautiful canyon for the night and just as we pulled in it was kind of funny like the shade from the mountain was like barely covering this spot and so we're like well i guess we're not having dinner outside because <laughs> we haven't even used the awning quite yet and we were hoping to do that tonight for dinner we still might but we might have to just bundle up a little bit because uh, it's a little chilly and breezy in the shade, but nonetheless, we are in this incredible valley here. The fjord is just over there that we're going to be going tomorrow to see one of the largest waterfalls here in Norway, and it is just absolutely breathtaking. Every little place that we have been driving by the last few days, and safe to say Norway is one of the top places that we have been to yet, and we're looking forward to enjoying the evening now, cooking up some tomato tortellini soup. But in the meantime, we have this over hyperactive toddler. <laughs> she has been hilarious this trip, but it has been a handful sometimes. <sighs> Here's to a fresh breath of air. Ooh, and possibly our next swimming spot. That looks cold but I think that we're gonna do it. Maybe tonight, maybe in the morning. Haven't decided yet, but yeah. Dinner, definitely with the view. <laughs> Are you on food? Yeah, just a little bit longer, okay? Can you tell me what we're having? We having soup? With noodles. <laughs> Walking on your tiptoes? Yeah. <laughs> Look at our little shadow. Very impressive. Should we just 
up here at a waterfall and as soon as I saw it, I knew I wanted to jump in here. There are no, no swimming signs, so that's awesome because some of the other places we went to, they have them. So it's so refreshing, so nice. I feel like I'm becoming more like Tanner in the fact that I'm really drawn to jumping in the cold water. Um, maybe he's wearing off on me a little bit, but it's really fun and refreshing and you get a lot of it here in Norway. Here is a early start, although a late start as well. <laughs> To this hike up to Makanosi. We're here at the old school park, Jordan, Jordan. I woke up at three <laughs> and then I was like, uh, uh, no, no, not a chance. And so I fell back asleep for an hour and ten minutes. And uh, I might be regretting it because now, <laughs> now I'm uh, not hiking in the dark uh, like I was thinking I would be for the majority of the hike. Either way, uh, here we go. It's supposed to be one of the most beautiful views in Norway of the fjord, so. I've made it up to the entrance of like this beautiful valley here. Kind of a rough start at the beginning. I think I took off a little too fast. And so I'm happy to let my heart and my lungs catch back up. But it's beautiful. I'm not gonna make it there before sunrise, unfortunately, because I slept in, but still really beautiful so far. Oh. Man, this is breathtaking on both levels. I'm about to come up and be blinded by the sun here in a minute, so I thought I would just take a second to look down and back at the valley that I just came up. It's beautiful uh, in and of itself. It's just amazing. It would have been close if I would have got here up an hour earlier to be able to see the sunrise, but I would have to say uh, I would choose a different time of the day to do it, which is kind of hard to hear me say, but yeah, still beautiful. It took me just under two hours to get here, uh, 10 out of 10 views, so now I'm going to make my way back. I ran into some campers that were up here as well, some of them just... No tent, just on their pads and sleeping bags. So, there's, there were two of them. And then another one that was in the tent, so, kind of fun to see. Well, I've made it back from the run. And honestly, I'm feeling quite exhausted having woken up that early, as, as I'm sure Rissa is now. Uh, the girls woke up a couple times during the night and they were awake when I left. So it's been almost like, what, let's see, four, six, yeah, it's been like seven hours and it's only like 10.30 in the morning. We've both been up for quite a while at this point, but we are headed out now to head to, of course, another amazing area to go drive by where we thought about doing a ferry um, trip through the fjord, but I think we're gonna pass on that one today because we have an, a different one planned for another time. But these canyons are just very impressive. Do you like Norway? Yeah, I do! Do you love Norway? Yeah!
stopped here in Flom and this is a very popular place. Right now there's two huge cruise ships, one's from MSC, which kind of gives us a little flashback from our cruise. We're gonna take you on a full boat tour and there's like this indoor basketball soccer area. I'll show you a little bit of the food. I am terribly excited to dive into some Indian food and some of the activities that we're gonna be enjoying over the next week. <gasps> Babe, there's karaoke! That was really fun. And what's the other one? It's a smaller one. I can't make it out which one it is. It could be a Norwegian cruise line, but it's fun out here along the river. We've seen lots of people. You see the crew that are down here having like a little lunch barbecue and hundreds, if not thousands of people walking from like the train station to like the buses. Um, heading all, all over the place here. Yeah, there's a couple different activities you can do here. So Tanner mentioned the train, very popular train ride. Starting from here to Myrtle. Myrtle, yeah. But you can take the train up there. It's supposed to be one of the most scenic in the world. And then here's also the starting point or one of the starting points to a fjord like cruise. We just stopped at, what was the last town? Gavinger. That's where the fjord cruise goes. So we saw the passenger ship come in, which it's a really cool design. Looks like super modern and nice. More than anything, this is like, it's just, you get used to it, I guess. <laughs> you see like so many fjords and so many canyons, but this one definitely is very picturesque and it's really cool that it's deep enough for like a cruise ship to come in here. Although I'm sure some people would argue like having a cruise ship this far in in the small town um, kind of overwhelms it a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Because there's thousands of people that come here. But anyway, still a really beautiful place that we're, we're excited that we're passing through. Take a moment and let it all sink in like a road trip. This life is... Wow. I was joking with Rissa just a few minutes ago as we were driving up this very steep, narrow road. Was Why did I even go on that hike this morning? <laughs> Over to um, Bakonisi. And it was incredible, and it was still a really fun hike, and the views were just very similar to this. And it was, I, I will say, it, it was longer and like more curvier and stuff, but this is pretty amazing and we were saying as we were coming out here on the lookout area that we were so grateful that we got like five minutes ahead because two very large tour buses just showed up and as you can see behind me and over there there's like 30 people right here another 50 to 60 coming so it's a very popular place now you have two teeth huh <laughs> combination of destination and all that's in between so let's drive and see what we see take a step up and look back at the view all the way from the cactus to canoe we're holding on to every ounce of sunlight that we can of the day and just as we were going up over the mountain pass, it started to like rain quite a bit and then now the sun is coming out. It's still sprinkling and we're getting ready to go down the other side of this beautiful mountain pass. And there's this very picturesque waterfall that's over here, this lake. Norway definitely has a lot of different terrains and you can find all sorts of weather. We've been fortunate that this trip has been pretty mild. We've had mostly sunshine and light like rainstorms. So we actually haven't had like any bad strong wind or rain at all. Uh, which has been nice. This is the summer of memories. We won't forget these nights. Jumping in the water, sitting around the fire, singing songs like howling wolves in the night. This is the summer of memories. We won't forget, we won't forget these. I think this might be my favorite campsite, you yeah? It filled up quick. <laughs> it's an incredible view, so why not? Free, beautiful view. <sighs> so nice. That's Don't do this one. to us. Oh, they've already put it up. Oh. Noah, we feel you. Just missed it by like five minutes. No, two minutes. We're like minutes. two minutes. <laughs> I mean, luckily it's like, probably what 20 30 minute wait 
but seriously, that sucks because there was like four cars on there. We were so close. It's really not that big of a connection, though. Okay, let's get Noah out. Yeah, I've lost count of the detours that we take because there's more to see than following the maps on interstates. So I roll the window down and let the air pass through my hand. These are the days that I never want to end. This is the summer of memories. We won't forget these nights. Raindrops on our faces, late night stargazing. Questioning the meaning of this life This is the summer of memory We won't forget these nights Jumping in the water Sitting around the fire Singing songs like howls in the night This is the summer of memories We won't forget We won't forget these Did we cook up all of the pancakes because we finally had a good pan to use today? <laughs> you remember the pancake incident? It was so different, but I didn't like it like this. <laughs> Any guesses of what this is? <laughs> and especially what this is? Oh man, these are pancakes, you guys. But it worked! This it one worked, worked. Yeah. We have a lot of pancakes. I asked Rissa why she cooked all of them, but it makes sense. Okay. We'll have them for the next few days probably. Now. Yeah, I just thought about leftovers. <laughs> well, we're gonna end out the video here, but thanks for watching today. Stay tuned because we just pulled into the parking lot of an amazing place, one of the thousands that are out here in Norway. Wow, we're here at a national park and this is like right off the road and you kind of turn the corner. You get, you get a view of the glacier on the top for like a little bit of driving and then you turn this corner and you go down and bam, you see the waterfall, you see the lake. I think there's even a part of the glacier down below. Is that glacier, right? Yeah, I mean, it's probably fall off from the glacier. It's snow, at least, but it's so beautiful. Definitely stay tuned for the next video. If you haven't done already, go ahead and subscribe to our channel to keep following along our next few videos exploring Scandinavia, especially Norway here. And if you haven't already, go ahead and check out our Patreon page. We are doing Q&A videos, cost trip expense breakdowns, and a few other odd and ends. We'd really love the support if you want to go ahead and support our channel by joining our Patreon.